we are back and I can't remember, I think this is like my seventh or eighth week on YouTube. Thank you so much for the followers. I think we're up to almost 1,500. So love you all and really grateful for the support. I'm really excited. I say that every week. I feel like I need to become better. But anyways, I am excited because I've got one of my best friends, colleagues, business partners, friends, like anything that you think of with me today. And actually I did a YouTube with Dr. Shadi, if you can remember, and we found that, you know, having two people is something that you guys love to interact with. And that's why we're back again today. Don't forget to subscribe and like, because obviously I want to continue giving you people and serving you with all the information. Today's topic is about illegal tooth whitening. I don't know if you caught me on ITV a few days ago where I was called up and asked to comment on a witch document. All of the ones I'm about to mention now have all taken them uh, off the market uh, once they were pointed out by witch. Uh, the 85p application contained 30.7%. Um, five out of nine of the products tested on eBay broke the law. Five out of 13 of the products tested on Amazon Marketplace had illegal amounts of hydrogen peroxide. So as I said, they've all removed them now, but, um, but these are incredibly dangerous products that were available online, Rona. Absolutely, and I think it's a massive problem. The thing is, is that we always advocate seeing a dentist before you want to consider tooth whitening because there's an array of reasons teeth can be discolored. So according to the Witch article, they have warned that a teeth whitening craze driven by social media users could be leading people to buy products from online marketplaces with illegal levels of hydrogen peroxide, which can burn gums and cause permanent damage to teeth. They go on to say that the Consumer Champions latest investigation uncovered strips gel filled syringes and pens with brush tips that were dangerously overloaded with one of the active ingredients used for tooth whitening and that is hydrogen peroxide and that it was readily available to UK customers online and marketplaces via third party sellers. Worryingly, 21 of the 36 teeth whiteners available online marketplaces that were tested in the lab exceeded the legal amount of hydrogen peroxide permitted for home use. In fact, they found that the worst offender had more than 300 times too much hydrogen peroxide. 300 guys, that is a lot. So we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about that, but first of all, I want my beautiful Anna to do an introduction. For the patients that are watching me, yes, you've probably had your teeth cleaned by her. I say that she is probably more important than me when it comes to treatments after mm -hmm. I've completed the smile. So a little introduction, Anna. So my name's Anna, I'm a dental hygienist and therapist, and Rona and I have been together for now, like nearly seven years probably. Yeah. So I started as Rona's dental nurse while I was at uni, we used to work together on the weekends, and then after I had qualified, we then kind of went our separate ways for a bit, but obviously we were always going to get back together. And now we are at Chelsea together, and I and Rona, you know, all our work is intertwined with each other. No one starts a smile makeover journey until they get the sign off from me, and then even once they've completed their journey, they need regular maintenance and cleaning visits with myself. So yeah, it's like a... Symbiotic relationship. Yeah. So, okay. And with, some days we see each other all the time, other days we don't see each other at all, but we're through the wall. I, I know you're there and, and um, yeah, it's my, my job to help prevent gum disease and dental decay, but also just maintain all the work that we do within the clinic. So we'll do a separate video on that, the differences between us and who to see at which stage of your treatment. But the crux of this video, as I mentioned, is tooth whitening. Now, Everyone watching, I'm sure one of you at one point in your life would, thought, would have thought about having whiter teeth. And you think, okay, I'll just get teeth whitening. Well, you might even compare yourself to somebody on the red carpet online and think, I want teeth like that. Now, it's really important to recognize that a lot of people that we watch online may have not just had tooth whitening. But certainly, tooth whitening, if done in a dental professional or a hygienist professional's hands, can be very safe and effective. But what's worrying is, is that as the witch article states, there's a lot of people copying other people online. So we all know that the key ingredient is hydrogen peroxide. So people wanted to bypass the dentist, bypass the hygienist, and just buy these products online. And what they were doing is, for example, they were getting a tooth bud or a cotton bud. I think there was a TikTok video that was like 4 million views or something, where the cotton bud was dipped in hydrogen peroxide and then placed all over the teeth. And people that were showing these videos were claiming that their teeth were instantly getting whiter. But what's really important to know is that it's about diagnosis. So really importantly, when you go and see a dentist, 
or a hygienist, what they'll do is they'll do a full examination and take x-rays and we want to determine why your teeth are the colour that they are. So for example, you could be genetically born with more yellow teeth or you could have yellow teeth because you've scrubbed away the enamel and the enamel has maybe dissolved through something called erosion. If the enamel's gone, it exposes the underlying dentine, which is more yellow in colour. You could also have gum recession. So if your gums have receded, they can appear more yellow in colour as well. If you have dental decay, sometimes it looks discoloured as well. So there's an array of reasons. The point is, is that if you're bypassing a dentist or hygienist, you're self-diagnosing the colour of your teeth and then going away and buying over-the-counter products or online could cause more harm. If you're using these huge levels of peroxide that you're buying online, for example, if you have a hole in your tooth and you don't realise it's a hole, it can seep into the tooth, damage the nerve and cause permanent damage to your teeth. So I think my big problem is, and with the whole profession as a whole, is this self-diagnosis. You really need to understand why your teeth are the colour that they are and have the necessary treatment because the dentist or hygienist may need to do remedial work first or say, okay, you know what? You need this kind of whitening, this kind of tray, because it's not just about the peroxide. The peroxide is just one part of it. Anything to add to that from your perspective as well? I think it's really important to make sure that who you're seeing is obviously a dental professional. Now, even as a hygienist and therapist, I still need a prescription from Rona for the actual whitening gels. So I can carry out my examination, I can do the cleaning, I can assess suitability. I am suitably trained to carry out several different types of whitening system, but Rona still needs to say, yes, Anna, I agree with your diagnosis. I agree that this patient is safe for whitening. And then Rona gives me a prescription. So it's like, we still have to work together on that. And it's really, really important. So, you know, even for me, I need to be ensuring that I'm looking after the patients as well. I just want to also add one thing, guys. It's taken me six years to get to where I am in terms of, well, actually it's probably taken me 10, 20 years almost, you know, but I'm talking about the actual dental degree qualification, including vocational training of six years. Anna's also been in education for how many years? Over eight now in dental. Yeah. If it takes us that long to diagnose and then, you know, you can just buy stuff online, you've got to think, you know, there has to be a reason why professionals are qualified to give the advice that they have to give, you know, that they, they have to give to make sure that you're safe. So that's number one. So also the other thing that I want to talk about is the fact that hydrogen peroxide is just one of the ingredients in whitening gels. Whitening gels contain lots of other ingredients to be deemed safe. They go through rigorous testing, through clinical trials and everything before we can hand you the product physically. So for example, they've got stabilizers in them, they've got anti-sensitive ing ingredients. It's not just the hydrogen peroxide, which is can be bought for three or four pounds, yeah. you know, online. That's not the whole point. It goes through all of these stages to ensure that it's safe to go in your mouth. Yes, it is the key ingredient, but it is not the only ingredient. So you might be thinking, what's the worst that can happen if I'm swirling around some hydrogen peroxide that I bought off a third party? Well, some of the things that can happen are third degree burns, you can get severe ulceration, the teeth can be permanently damaged and die. Is there anything else? I mean, you're running the risk of ingesting bleach as well so the the risks around that the other thing of the you know sort of third party products is the fact that they may be labeled with a well-known brand but there's no guarantee that that ever came from that people buy the, the these syringes they are filled with like some sort of gel and then they just have a sticker placed on them so it's essentially fake products and white labeled products out there so for me i've personally seen patients who come in they've got really bad sensitivity they've ended up giving themselves white bands on their gums um, obviously all of them instantly regret not listening to us um, so yeah what works for one person by no means will be suitable for another person and nor should you be uh, attempting any sort of treatments on yourself when a body part is involved. Yeah, and actually, wasn't there a headline as well a few months ago where someone had had it done illegally as well, I think at a beauty salon, yeah. and then she had this awful swelling as well. Mm -hmm. Are you okay to get tooth whitening by non-medical slash dental professionals? No. So the General Dental Council do state quite bluntly that only Dental professionals are the ones that should be carrying out tooth whitening. It is a medical product, and therefore, if you see people having it done in shopping centers or at beauty salons, it is illegal. It is not legal. Because at the end of the day, when complications arise, people that are not medically or dentally trained don't know how to deal with those problems, and they can't manage them, and that can end up causing 
permanent scarring and damage to your face, to your mouth, etc. So really, it is not worth it. Those products as well, when you see like people doing it in um, sh like shopping centres or salons and stuff as well, they the, sometimes those products, one, you don't know what's in it, two, it can often be a product that actually doesn't work at all. And the reason why is it's sort of... Um, for a short period of time afterwards, the teeth deceivingly look a little bit whiter because the teeth are dry because you've had your mouth open and, and a sort of like warm light shining on them. So then when you go away, you think, oh yeah, that looks a little bit brighter. But then actually afterwards, it goes back to complete, you know, completely normal. And some of these products that they use can often be quite acidic as well. So for long term, prolonged use, you could end up giving yourself enamel erosion as well. Yeah, 100%. Now let's have a little recap because I know it can be really overwhelming. Illegal teeth whitening is a massive problem in the UK. Buying third party products is also illegal because technically you can only buy 0.1% hydrogen peroxide over the counter and actually some of these products that have 300 times more hydrogen peroxide are not legal for you to buy. Number two, the highest legal percentage actually in the dental chair is 6% hydrogen peroxide and some of the third parties are selling 30% hydrogen peroxide. We can only use 6%, so you've got to think what potential damage those products could be doing. Also, as we said, that there is risk of damage to the soft tissues, like the lips, the gums, and so forth, and ingestion, because these products are loose. You don't have well-fitting trays that are made by a dentist, and we'll go into tray design as our last thing as well. So with tray design, when you come and see us, so say I said, okay, cool, you can have whitening, you're good to go, this is the reasons X, Y, and Z, I might take scans for whitening or send you to Anna to have scans done too, and the trays are made. When the trays are made, you've got to remember they're bespoke to your mouth and your teeth. What I mean by that is, is that trays that are made specifically for me will only fit me. And the way that the tray is seated around my teeth will also have an impact on how effective the teeth whitening is. So trays that are really flush around the teeth or may kind of be really scalloped around the gums may penetrate the teeth better. And if you have trays that are flimsy or not made specifically for your mouth, this gel is going to go all over the place and also you're at risk of ingesting that as well, which wouldn't be good for you and also hamper the results. Yeah, those foil in the bag trays, don't waste your time and money. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's really important to know that when you're going to the dentist, it's not just about having a random hydrogen peroxide product. It's not just about having um, that just given to you. You're actually given well-designed tray. You're having diagnosis and you're ensuring the treatment's safe and any complications can be managed in the chair with us. Plus, one of the big things they asked me on ITV was, do you think that influencers have a responsibility with all the things that they talk about online? My answer to that one is, and I know Anna will have an opinion on this, is, is that when it comes to medical advice, you can look at influencers to an extent. However, you need to check whether they've also had advice from their own medical professionals. So for example, I've treated loads, lots of influencers, but because I've given them the advice, and if they're repeating the advice that I've given them to their audience, I'm fine with that because I know that I've looked after them and that what they're telling their audience is true and factual. But also you need to look at possibly endorsements as well, you know, do they have other, you know, if somebody's promoting a whitening product but they've had veneers or bonding done, you might think, have a, think about it and go, okay, well, whitening doesn't actually whiten veneers or bonding. So have a look, do your due diligence. And I think it's really exciting times now because we've got loads of medical professionals online. So you can always say, hey, I've seen this, I've seen this person talk about it. What do you think of it? Does this work? What's your advice on it? And you know, we're here to give you that free advice. We know that it's a huge problem at the moment in the UK being able to acquire appointments, especially on the NHS. But the fact is, you know, prevention is such a big part of dental disease. And we're offering that free preventative advice daily, which we're really proud yeah, of as absolutely. a tag team. You know, <laughs> yeah, but, but, but yeah, I again, it's the same as what Rain is saying. You know, it's concerning. I think if you're, you know, there's certain demographics who may be more impressionable, you know, you may think, oh, this will be a quick, cheap fix, but actually, some of the damage is permanent and will cost a lot more to reverse. So, it's, I would say, do it once, do it properly, because then you know it's like tick box and guarantee. Mm -hmm. You know, for some of our whitening systems, we even offer like finance options and things. If it's something you really want, we can treatment plan that and it's an investment for long term, but yeah. Yeah, and one last thing is, is that also whitening toothpaste, take caution because some of them can be very abrasive. What we mean by abrasive is they have almost sandy particles which can scrub away the enamel in 
the, the pursuit of trying to remove staining. So what they're doing is, is that the companies that create whitening toothpaste are like, okay, cool, we're gonna help them scrub off the stains, but they can also damage the enamel. And then what happens is if you scrub the enamel away, you can have your dentine showing through, which I explained before is more yellow in color, and your teeth can become quite weak and thin. And I had somebody that was overusing whitening toothpaste her teeth became so thin, her dentine was showing through, we ended up doing veneers. So imagine she has to have all that treatment first when she could have had just teeth whitening with a dentist to begin with. So just, you know, it's not all doom and gloom, but you know, come to us and we'll advise you correctly. So gonna sign off. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. We're here at your disposal and thanks for tuning in. We will be giving you another video, me and Anna, about what we do and who to see with, with which types of treatments you need. Love you guys. See you soon.